also, I was also at the meeting last month, and um, whether the town board wants to admit it or not, when the people walked out of here after talking about their issue at Ladder Road, they all said, it doesn't matter what you say here because they don't listen. And that's how people feel. You don't listen, you'll vote on things without public hearings, without notices, and it's wrong. You are supposed to be representing the people, yet you're not asking for input from the people. And that was evident last month, uh, too, when you passed the prayer policy. Um, I, am, uh, I spoke out then, and I'm going to speak again. Um, I did some research, uh, maybe more than, than you did, but the fact is that you took a line for line almost exactly the Alliance Defending Freedoms model policy. Now, I don't know if you've read that or know anything about the Alliance Defense Fund. Um, unfortunately, and I will say unfortunately because I think it was an insult to a lot of your residents that, first of all, they represented this town. If you're gay and lesbian, if you are of a non-Christian faith, that is what they are promoting. And you say you're not aligned with Christianity. Let me tell you who, what they say on their website. And this is from the person you took the prayer policy, the organization you took the prayer policy from. I think there were like two lines that were not almost exactly the same out of the whole policy. It says, we must continue to fight for religious liberty so the life-changing message of Jesus Christ can be proclaimed and transform our culture. Each win for the body of Christ is a loss for the opposition. It's that black and white. Now, you're taking this policy from that. Who's the opposition? Is it non-Christians, non-believers? Who is it? But that, to me, is unfathomable that you would take a, a prayer policy word for word from an organization that says their purpose is to spread Christianity and make this a Christian country. And you're saying that you are not doing this because you're aligning yourself with Christianity. I think that your actions continue to speak more loudly than your words. And um, the other thing I would like to point out is that, again, you had no input from the people on this issue. You took it from an or outside organization. I'm really curious how many other laws you've snuck through over the years from other organizations and lobby groups and donors to benefit them without having any input. Because what you did last month was sneak it through. You tried without telling anybody, making any notice, anything, that you were going to do this. And you tried to sneak it through like you do a lot of things, without input and without any consideration about what people want and what they need. So in closing, I'd just like to say, maybe you need to be a little more transparent. Maybe you need to ask a little more input from the people you represent. And maybe you need to realize what this is really about and what it is and what you are showing by taking this prayer policy word for word from this organization. Thank you. The hypocrisy here is amazing. We won the lawsuit. We are allowing atheists to come in and pray because they want us to be tolerant, but yet they're not tolerant of Christians. They're not tolerant of others. The hypocrisy is crazy. No, you, ma'am, I'm not you, in your you. law, you in your, your policy, you exclude groups, Wiccans, if they're not part of an organization. I couldn't do this. No, you're speaking we now. You we said, yeah, but before. according to your new policy, you would not be able to, a Wiccan would not be able to come. Thank you. So you're a bunch of hypocrites. And don't take me, don't tell me that you are, you know, the poor oh, Christians are, that yeah, are yeah, being like persecuted by your citizens.